another word for the list tab t-a-b as in who picks up the tab this this is connected to the idea of 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 patriarchy of being a centurion of being a leader and and then it means that when when you're the dad and and you're taking your kids out to eat you're going to pick up the tab once in a while of course they might they might want to pick up the tab and and that they will they get an extra kind of thank you for it and that's great and there's there's nothing at all wrong with that but the default person who's going to pick up the tab is the dad the default person who's going to pick up the tab in a business setting or in a organizational setting is the person who holds the person who's having daddy issues projected on them is the dad and the job of the person who is in that spot is includes picking up the tab and it means that when when the communication goes south or goes sideways and somebody gets to be angry at somebody else the dad's the one they get to be angry at and it's it's too much to say dad and it's certainly too much to to say that to put it on a on a gender defined thing it's it's the it centurion is, is the word we keep coming back to for this reason that it's the leader who is responsible for other people who goes to Jesus on behalf of those other people and responds to those other people as they lead because of their connection to Jesus so picking up the tab well in the end Jesus is the one who picks up the tab always but he asks us to do it first and and to you know there's this certain sense of my children know that if one of them is generous to the other I will pick up the tab and, and make sure to reward them for their generosity. That's just how we, we have things set up at our house. There's a reality that goes with that at work as well and in leadership in general. And part of it is is the financial part. Part of it is what do you do with conflict. But part of it too is who will invite into a vision? Who will say, you know what we could do is this. You know, we, we talk a lot about God's will, but I'm pretty convinced that there's a, an interesting way of thinking about how Jesus relates that is less about his will than something more like his invitation. And I, I use the word wanna, wanna do this. And, and it's interesting to me that on a given day, if my son and I are going to figure out what to do and I ask him what he wants to do, he might say, I want to go to the park or I want to go to Target or I want to do something like that. But on the days when he says, Dad, what ideas do you have? We end up doing cooler stuff. You know, we will go off-roading or, or, or do things or we'll take a road trip. And, and it's a, he doesn't, it's not his job to think about what would really delight him. It is my job, and then it's my job to pick up the tab and invite him into things. And I think the same thing is true if you're an employer and you're dealing with people who normally think in terms of transactions. Are you inviting them into something beyond the transaction? And part of picking up the tab involves taking the risk of having the idea. It involves the risk of having the idea rejected or belittled or missed. And then you continue just to hold that space. The other part that comes up with all of this is when somebody makes a mistake and there's a consequence in their world, you have to, you have to fire somebody. The, the option that that person has is, well, will I feel shame for this thing? I, I, I failed and a consequence came. And as the, as the centurion, as the person who picks up the tab, our job, and, and, and frankly, this isn't me even, this is the people we seek to serve. This is, this is what I admire about you, is that centurions pick up the tab so that what lingers in the story and in the heart of the person who had the failure is not the curse of the failure, but the blessing that follows. And it's a new expression of hope. And it's costly to pick up the tab for somebody else's failure and then extend hope. It's not fair. It's doubly expensive. It's super annoying. 
And it's what Jesus invites us to do. And it's what he's constantly doing with us. It's one of the the privileged sacrifices and privileged pains that come with being a centurion. So many of the rewards are not anything like a good bargain for the centurion. But one of them is to get to pick up the tab and to hand it then to Jesus, who absorbs it from there, and says, good job. And, and I understand something new about Jesus when I pick up the tab. The, to joyfully do that for the purposes of his kingdom is a very big deal for a centurion.